all grow old. Around 10% of people over 65 have dementia symptoms affecting their behavior and cognitive performance, changing who they are and affecting their family's balance. Alzheimer's starts very gradually. Eventually, the patient feels like the world around them is changing, but the change is really happening inside the patient's brain. Family caregivers are seriously affected by the patient's changing behavior, and over the years of care, they are more prone to illness. Around 50% of them will suffer from depression. Hi, I am a sociologist researcher. I spent the last 10 years of my life supporting, observing, and studying patients with Alzheimer's and their family caregivers. And I always ask myself some questions like, how can we support and help family caregivers to take care of their patients. What we can do for an Alzheimer's patient in addiction to uh, drugs prescription? Can we do some activities with them in order to slow down some of their symptoms? Physical activities, some social engagement, learning new things, or just meditation. These activities may not sound like true therapeutic protocols, yet, when performed consistently, they have been proven to be very effective with great benefits to the patients. Dementia patients need support, but so do caregivers. Most caregivers give up on some form of self-care. They feel guilty when taking time for themselves and leaving their patients alone. The unpredictability of the disease makes it very hard to plan social activities in advance. Guilt kicks in every time the caregiver takes time away and they feel embarrassed to bring the patients in public. As a result, over the years, some family caregivers may lose friends and possibly their job. Patients and caregivers are two sides of the same coin, and each side needs to be treated specifically, while at the same time keeping a bird's eye view on the whole. This is the reason why we created caregivercare.org, whose mission is to offer care to patients with non-pharmacological interventions and care to caregivers with activities that inspire and empower a better quality of life. The first program Caregiver Care is launching in New York City is Alzheimer, an opportunity to love. We bring together family caregivers and their patients to fight the loneliness and isolation of the weekend into a fun and supportive social environment. While the patients engage in customized physical learning activities under the supervision of Gianni Perilli, the family caregivers will be involved in the preparation of a theatrical play under the direction of Giuseppe Carluccio, therefore benefiting from the social interactions and the creative stimulation of the rehearsals. I have always been passionate about both theater and music as well as social activities that empower the people that need it the most, like children and the elderly. I attended one of Gianni Perilli's presentations, and then I invited him to attend one of my theater shows. He liked it, and we soon began to imagine a play where the topic is relationships in families with dementia patients, and the protagonists are the actual family caregivers. I think that bringing together both patients and the family caregivers on a weekend can strongly reduce the loneliness in these families. We believe that it's extremely helpful to family caregivers to do something they like over the weekend. In addition, when the patients perform neuroprotective activities, a slower progression of the symptoms of the disease is very possible. Participating volunteers learn more about the problems that a family with dementia patients face every day and they understand how external support can bring relief. Some programs with activities for elders already exist, but they are usually very pricey, and very rarely these programs are offered specifically to families with dementia. In order to reach people from every social status, we need funds to make sure that this program takes off and that it always remains 100% free. This is a pilot project that, if successful, will be a blueprint for an ongoing opportunity for patients, their caregivers and volunteers so that we may bring love and joy into these families by really making a difference in an otherwise very painful and lonely situation. Please consider backing Alzheimer an opportunity to love and sharing our project with your contacts. Thank you.